welcome back to our channel. Um, today I'm just going to do a little nursery tour because I get a lot of people asking over on Instagram where I get a lot of the things from in Daisy's room and to be honest with you most of them I've either kind of made myself like through little hacks or it's all either from eBay or Ikea so it's really really cheap stuff and if you love a bargain like me then hopefully you will love this video or if you know somebody that needs room inspiration then you could get them to watch this video and hopefully it can help some people oh hi hello <laughs> Daisy's watching Peppa Pig on my phone right now and she wants me to skip the ad so I will do that there you go so I'll get started and show you guys around. So if I start from here, you can just see where everything is. I'll go around each thing individually and say where they're all from. But yeah, this is just how it looks as you're walking around. And then I've got that over there. Just move the door. Yeah, so that is everything. So first up are these little bookshelves in Daisy's room. There's just two of them, and they're actually spice racks from Ikea. And I'll try link as many things as I can in the um, description box below. And they just screw into the wall. You do need to drill into the wall. But yeah, they hold about three books each, depending on what kind of books you use. We use the board books, they're quite thick, thick books. Next up, we've got this plant in a little belly basket. I think that's what they're called. Um, the plant was actually is a little bit dusty, it is real, um, this was from Ikea and then the little belly basket underneath is from eBay of course, my favourite online shop in the world and that was really really cheap as well, I can't remember how much it was because I got a few at the time and they were different sizes um, but I'm thinking it was probably about £4. So next up we've got these gorgeous little cotton ball fairy lights and these are from Etsy. Um, from a seller called Living Pastel. Mine don't actually have any batteries in at the moment so I can imagine that when they do though they look really really pretty when they're lit up and they just add a nice little finishing touch to Daisy's room. Now over by Daisy's cot we've got this cot canopy and these are actually really expensive if you buy them as they are so I decided to kind of craft this one myself. So the actual netting it's actually like a mosquito net I think um, it's from eBay and I think it was about £4 so really really cheap and I just it was actually attached like all the way around and I just cut in the middle of it to open it up and then I got this mobile from eBay too and just hung that in the middle of it the flowers around the edge and the leaves they are all from eBay as well um, I got them separately and um, the leaves and the flowers I apologize for Daisy in the background um, yeah the all really really cheap and I just stuck them on to the net with fabric glue so we got this overall look in the end then we've got the cot itself and the cot bedding and both of those are from eBay I think the cot was about 60 pounds and it's really really good value um, and it's really nice quality and the bedding is really pretty it's just kind of like this mint green kind of colour and it's like that on the inside of the bedding as well and then on the outside you've just got this cute little pattern then just above Daisy's cot we've got this gorgeous print this bunny print this was from the crownprints.com I think it is and the frame is from Ikea here we've got Daisy's teddy bag and her wash basket. The wash basket, this really nice dusky kind of pink colour with clouds on, is from B&M and this is from notonthehighstreet.com because there were lots of these on eBay, these kind of style paper bags, but the quality wasn't that great of them I didn't think because I did order one and they weren't as big as this one and obviously this is personalised too. It's got the little gold spots on, um, and I really do love it. It adds such a nice finishing touch to Daisy's room, so I would really recommend that. And then we've got this cute little cloud wall light, and that was from Ikea again. So now we're on to my absolute favourite piece in Daisy's room, and it's her little reading TP or tent. I wasn't sure actually whether to buy one at first because I didn't know if she'd use it but she absolutely loves it so I'm so pleased I did and it just looks so pretty in here 
and I've decorated it to make it look a bit prettier with this lovely flower garland and this was from eBay the garland and also the actual teepee itself was from eBay and it was only £25 I think so I think that's really really good value because it is very big as you can see it goes up it's quite tall and it fits like all three of us in for story time and it's just so cosy and lovely at night time and I'm so glad I bought it and inside we've just got this round little um, kind of rug type thing and we've got her cushions inside the tent and I chose this kind of like colour scheme I love the blush pinks and the natural kind of browns and earthy tones with the florals and then I just thought this blue would kind of make it pop a little bit and I love the little pom-poms on this cushion it's really sweet so these cushion covers are all from eBay too <laughs> and the actual cushion pads themselves are from eBay and they came as a four pack so it kind of works perfectly someone's just hiding behind the teepee <laughs> this is one of her favourite things to do, <laughs> to do. Yeah! Then up here we've got her shelf and it's just got a few little bits on to give it that kind of little added touch. The shelf itself is from Ikea. Um, this little bunny, um, Sam got that from one of his work trips away. Um, it's really cute. I don't really know where it's from. I think it was just a little handcrafted type shop thing. A little independent store. Dad! Yes, Daddy got it, didn't Dad! he? Yeah. Then we've Dad! got these really nice string lights again these are from eBay they don't actually have any batteries in at the moment because I really need to buy some batteries and up here on the shelf we've got another frame just like the other one over there um, from Ikea it's a smaller one um, and then inside this print is from eBay but I think this was actually a one-off print because it said just one available and it hasn't been on since but there are lots of others that are similar to it so you can probably still get one we've got this plant next to it the little basket was from ebay and then the plant was from ikea and it's a fake plant um, because i tend to kill real ones and we've got some little Yay. shoes and then we've got this gorgeous ragdoll fairy and this was from my mother-in-law so daisy's grandma and i thought it looks really pretty up there now daisy's windowsill there's not really much on here We've just got this vase, um, and this was from Dunelm, I think. I've had it a long time. Um, I think it used to be in my old room when I lived at home, and I cannot remember for the life of me how much it was. But I've actually added some pink flowers. It just came with the white ones, but I've added these pink ones in too. And then you can see the view outside of Daisy's room. And there's normally some either sheep or cows in that field, and we look at them every morning, and we say hi to them, and we make animal noises. Then moving down to Daisy's radiator, um, I was going to get a radiator cover to make it look prettier but for now I've just got this little heart wooden garland and again that, I don't even know where that was from because this used to be in my old room. It's just really pretty and again the colours kind of work perfectly so I'm really glad I held on to it rather than getting rid of it when we moved house. We've got Daisy's lovely rocking horse from her auntie Meggie, my sister, and it's actually personalised with her name on it and I think um, it was from studio and I'm not sure how much it was but it makes noises I won't press it now because Daisy sometimes gets scared of it then we've got Daisy's wardrobe it's just a big wardrobe from Ikea it's got the actual wardrobe bit in there and then shelving units in there I won't go inside because it's not the most organised of wardrobes um, but then we've got next to the wardrobe we've got Daisy's chest of drawers I'll just move this door so you can see it a bit better we've got Daisy's chest of drawers which again are from Ikea um, and they kind of just look perfect next to each other and then on top we've got a little vase from Ikea and then these fake eucalyptus t twigs leaves <laughs> branches um, and they're from eBay and I just thought they looked really pretty. Um, then we've got a little belly basket and then I just stuck these pom-poms on that were from eBay as well. So both were from eBay uh, with some glue just to make it look a bit cuter. And then I've got this really simple little golden round hanging mirror and this was so, so cheap. I think it was about four pounds and that was from Dunelm. Then last but not least, we've got this really, really cute 
lampshade and this is from Ikea and it just comes as like a big paper lampshade and you scrunch it yourself and I thought it's kind of a bit like a cloud and it goes with the little other cloud bits in Daisy's room. There was one more thing I've got to show you and this is on Daisy's door on the outside of Daisy's door and this was from eBay again and it's really pretty it's just pink and white with little wooden letters on so I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it gave you a bit of inspiration. I will link everything as much as I can do in the description box below um, if that helps anybody. And thank you so, so much for watching. Bye! Mm -hmm.